Hello, welcome to this session. Here we will understand how project costing module works in OpenERP version 7. Let's log into the database and see what are the functionalities we have incorporated in it so far. The project cycle basically starts with the sales module where user can have a sale order awarded from their customer. So let's say one of the example where Accord Infrastructure Limited has awarded one sale order for two BHK flats in four quantities. So this is a sale order based on which you have an option to create new project from this sale order. So when user clicks on create new project, system will automatically create a new project associated with this sale order and such projects can be visible in projects module under project menu. So this is a list of project. Let's go to the detail of that so that we can understand what are the details we capture for each of the project. So this is a project 2 associated with sale order 3. You can define a project manager as well as the customer for which this project has been created. There are several tabs like team, other info, related sale orders, project deliverables and project stages. In team, user can select the participants for this project. In construction business, you may have civil engineer, architect, plumber, painter. These are some of the team members who are going to participate for or to execute different tasks in the project. Other info tab will list out some key information that is plan, total plan time, total time spent and what is the tentative start date and end date for this project and the currency and the parent project if it is applicable. The related sale order tab will list out the sale order from which this project has been created. In project deliverables, user can have a list of products that are supposed to be delivered on completion of this project. This is nothing but the products listed in a sale order associated with this project. Finally, the project stages. These are the stages through which this project will proceed further. Once the project is completed, user can create task for each of the project. So this is one of the task under project 2 sale order 3 that is flat 1 construction. So here you can assign a responsible person who should accomplish this task, the deadline to accomplish this task. Similarly, the initial plan hours for allocated for this task. There may be some scenario where user will have to consume some of the products while executing this task. So user can list out all the products with their planned quantities. However, the use quantity can be updated at the time of actual work done. In order to consume stock, user can define a specific location because normally in construction industry we do have multiple warehouses or site warehouses for different projects. So the stock will get depleted once the task is done and the finished product is delivered on the deliverable product location. Similarly, apart from a product, user may consume some services in order to accomplish the task like a labor or a lawyer can give legal advices which may be charged on hourly basis. So user can mention the, the service hours and once the task is completed it proceeds through different stages and once it is completed then it is available for invoicing. So these are the tasks available for invoicing. User can just select couple of tasks and can create invoice against it. So just need to create, click on create invoice. So this is how that invoices will be listed in invoices. So this invoice is for the consumption of metal of 100 kg. Similarly, uh, service invoice will also be raised for the services rendered for a particular task. Budgeting is again a crucial part in construction. So user can define 
budgets for their different projects as well as for each task so this is one of the project created for one of the task that is project 2 and sale order 3 so I have collected all the tasks created so far for the project 2 and list them out one after the other and can assign a plan amount for each task so cumulatively it will give you a total budget for that project the practical amount is something which is actually being consumed against the plan one and the percentage gives you the variation between the plan amount and the practical amount spent so this is how user can monitor the budget for each project similarly task wise profitability and project wise profitability can be assessed through chart of analytic accounts so this is a summary of project wise profitability where on broader way you can have a project name and a revenue expenses incurred for that particular project on drill down you can have a list of tasks so user can have a list of tasks and for each task its revenue and expenses so this is how a profitability can be compared for each task at task and project level so this is how a project management module works in OpenERP version 7. Thank you.